we will be discussing cure algorithm so cure algorithm is one of the clustering algorithm uh, in big data analytics the thing with cure algorithm is that it works fine when it comes to you know we have to you know deal with big data a data which has you know velocity viscosity and uh, variety and volume so basically if you are trying to deal with big data and you want to do you know some kind of data analytics clustering so you use cure algorithm so basically before we start let's just know cure let's just see what you know cure has to offer us so basically the full form of cure is clustering using representatives so we know clustering is basically you know uh, when we you know combine data points of same kind in a simple words if i say ki samjho people are passing out from 10 standard so no, uh, we have three choices like commerce science or arts so jo bhi log arts lenge wo ek cluster mein jayenge jo bhi log science lenge wo ek cluster mein jayenge jo bhi log commerce lenge wo ek cluster mein jayenge this is an example so basically we you know have a data and we want to know more about it so we use such algorithms clustering is one of them so basically in cure it's clustering using representatives why a word representatives is that uh, for example we all have representatives in our class right one of the student which represents the whole class so whenever we deal with big data we cannot process the whole data because the volume is very high so we take representatives from the data okay this is the representative from this section this is the representative from this section so basically cure is clustering using representatives it is a large scale clustering algorithm why have we used the word large scale is because again we deal with a huge amount of data it uses multiple representative points rather than a centroid to represent a cluster so whenever we deal with cluster we always have a single uh, center point but when it comes to cure algorithm it is not like that for example if you are having a cluster the whole cluster is represented by 2 2 3 4 5 points so no shape is assumed for clusters clusters can exist in any shape spherical or non spherical shapes cure works fine with both hence it deals with outliers okay so there is no mandatory shape for cure since we do not have a centroid we do not you know uh, imagine that the cure will be a spherical only so let's move on when we save the data when it comes to outcomes of cure we use two data structures heap and kd tree now over here heap is used to track distance between two nearby clusters for example uh, i have two clusters the distance between them will be saved in heap further we have a kd tree kd tree stores all the representative points inside a cluster for example if i have three clusters then i will be having three kd tree and those kd tree will be having those representative points so basically the clusters with closest representative points which satisfied a criteria of min distance are merged till a point we obtain k clusters for example i am having six clusters but i find that okay a cluster and b cluster you know are too close to each other they have similarities and the distance between them is you know below my threshold so i'll just merge them and make them to one cluster so here is my example so over here if i have these two clusters and i have a minimum distance say 2 and i'm saying that if minimum distance is 3 uh then you cannot you know merge the clusters but since my distance is less than the threshold value i have set these two clusters will get combined so over here this is what i'm trying to say we combine the clusters till a point we obtain k clusters k is the number which is decided by the user before you know running the cure algorithm or a clustering algorithm you can say so over here i have points and over here i'm trying to make clusters over here 
I am seeing okay these are the two points these are my two representative points in the cluster does the distance you know satisfy my criteria or not so when it comes to cure clusters it a uh, cure algorithm this algorithm is you know a algorithm which deals with large scale of data so when we all know that bda loves map and reduce so what happens in cure cluster is that we take the whole data set we do partitions in it and further in each partition we run a higher hierarchical clustering algorithm so i have like four partitions i do like hierarchical clustering on all four of them when my this task is done i combine this and create one cluster you know one final cluster so now assume now this is my final cluster now over here this partitioning is based on sampling so the, like i said you before we take representative points and further we do the sampling thing and uh, we finally find the uh, final output of clusters so but uh, i have to run the algorithm through whole uh, you know my data set so what further i will do is further i will take every single point from my data set i will compare with this and i will be like okay uh point number 1 is close to the representative points of this cluster so i will put point number 1 over here then i'll go to point number 2 or row number 2 then i'll be like okay row number 2 is closest to representative point of this cluster so i'll add over here so basically hota kya hai hum log pure data set mein se representative points leke clusters banate hain further jab hum log ke clusters ban ke taiyar ho jate hain finally तो हम लोग खाली ऐसे हर एक पॉइंट के साथ इफ एल स्टूप लगाते हैं अच्छा ठीक है ये वाला पॉइंट इस क्लस्टर के पास है तो इसमें डाल दो इसमें डाल दो इसमें डाल दो सो बेसिकली क्लस्टर्स हम लोग कुछ पॉइंट्स को लेके बनाते हैं लेकिन फाइनल आउटपुट जो हम लोग दिखाते हैं उसमें हम सब पॉइंट्स कंसिडर करते हैं सो दिस इज हाउ क्योर क्लस्टरिंग वर्क यू क्रिएट क्लस्टर्स ऑफ टेन और फिफ्टी रोज but you only consider few representative points uh, we do by using hierarchical clustering algorithm so how is cure exactly implemented so basically we take a sample data and perform clustering on it since cure works fine with orderly data set so we use hierarchical method hierarchical method is one of the clustering methods so after clusters are made we choose few representative points points which are far away from each other as possible uh, normally clustering mein kaisa hota hai we we choose a centroid but when it comes to cure we take few representative points we take representative points for increasing accuracy if two representative points from two different clusters pass minimum distance then we merge them till the time we get K clusters. अभी K क्या होता है K user डालते हैं कि भाई मेरे को तीन cluster चाहिए नहीं मेरे को दो चाहिए नहीं मेरे को पांच चाहिए Depending upon the need of the user and again the class labels, he or she has decided for the clustering algorithm. Further, we move representative points towards the center to deal with outliers and anomalies. Shrinking values are used for the same. So after my clusters are made, what will I do that to uh, you know? uh keep outliers outside or to you know find the points which you know actually uh, exist away from the cluster to do so we just move the representative points towards each other towards center so jab bhi main nayi point check karungi aur main usko ek clusters ke andar dalungi main galti se uh outlier nahi dal do ye cheez main na karu that is the reason we move the representative points towards the center just to make sure that outliers you know remain outside the cluster they do not get in the cluster so that is the reason we do shrinking of representative points after clusters are made entire set of points are read from the disk and get assigned to the cluster who representative point it is closest to so jaise ki maine bola ki mai agar mera 10000 ka data hai to mai usme se 1000 ka data leke clusters banaungi baki ke 9000 points ko sirf mai compare karungi हर एक क्लस्टर्स के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव पॉइंट्स के साथ और एक एक करके क्लस्टर्स में ऐड करती जाऊंगी ताकि मैं आउटलायर को ऐड नहीं करूं क्लस्टर्स में 
before you know checking the points from the disc i'll just shrink the representative points towards the center so this is how cure implementation is done i hope you understand what i was trying to convey and if you do i just hope you are able to write in your examination or you know just understand it for the purpose of understanding so before ending the video i'll just go through it again cure cure uh, algorithms are used for big data uh since we have to do the whole clustering on big data we cannot just take uh, uh, 1 lakh rows or you know 50 lakh rows and be like ki lo iska algorithm banao we do not do that we take few representative points and we create k clusters and uh, every uh, cluster has its own representative points further we shrink those representative points towards the center okay so now i have sh uh, you know shrink the representative points towards the center now the remaining points which i have in my data i will compare them and i'll see okay this belongs to cluster number a this belongs to cluster number b this belongs to cluster cluster number c main outlier cluster ke andar dalne ki galti nahi karu isliye maine representative points ko already shrink kar liya so the points which won't you know satisfy the minimum threshold criteria of you know having a relationship with uh, representative points they will be remain outside the clusters and consider to be an outlier i hope this helps you uh, thank you for watching my video all the best